Hello, Raphael here on a quick video on how to upload contacts into SharpSpring via Excel or CSV import and um, how to put them into a list. So um, I downloaded a client list provided from a list provided from a client of contacts for their launch. Uh, one of the things that I do is first make sure to see what information I have. I can see that some people don't have email addresses, right, or phone numbers. So uh, I could choose to import them still or uh, not import them, right? Uh, this is something I should probably ask, ask my client about. But then uh, also I have uh, some additional fields here. I'm sorry, ca uh, columns like the category column. And that I know is not already in SharpSpring. So I'm going to have to create a, a, a field for that. Uh, and then only a few of them have phone numbers. But in either case, here is the um, here's the sheet, right? So I'm gonna clean it up. This I don't know what it was. So I'm gonna uh, delete this. I just want to make sure that we end up with a clean first, last email. Uh, in this case, categories, which will add as a new uh, record and uh, and phone number, right? So once I have that, uh, I'm gonna save it into a CSV file. And it's funny that I'm, that we have a lot of records here without without emails so I didn't really cut on to that okay so you continue when we're in a dot CSV we just lose some of the for formatting capabilities that are in uh, Excel so now that I have my list ready I go to sharp spring and I'm gonna go ahead and just import everything because that's what the client provided to me um, I'm gonna choose a file I'm going to go navigate to where that file is. Oh, that, I hope I put it in the right place here. There we go. Go into files. Nope, I didn't save it in the right place. Cancel for a second. Saved it in my downloads. Save as CSV. That's what we want. Oh, let's go put it in the client. I can drop it in here, or I could make, go ahead and put create a folder called Lists. Should be the nice, nice thing to do, and drop that guy in there. Or bam, continue. Now I'm going to go to Sharp Spring over here, and where I went was inside Contact Import Tool. Click on the Import Tool. You see they have a CRM migration tool. Uh, this is not the case of what we're doing right now. I'm just going to choose my file. And I think I chose it. What happened here? Is it chosen? This one. Open. All right, and then I'm going to hit Upload CSV. All right, this is going to be a new list, and we're going to call it, the client called it, Master master List. What did, what did the client call it? Master List 61616, okay. Whoa. How should we handle duplicates? I know there aren't any duplicates, so I'm just going to leave that alone. There we go. Import unassigned lease in all as qualified leads. These are all qualified leads. They're on their list, right? Assign leads to a campaign. Select campaign, new campaign. We're going to call this campaign personal list. Assign leads to a particular user? No, we're just going to leave it. And so first name, so here we go. This is called field mapping. That's when we can grab the name of the columns in CSV to what the field is or the record is, or the it's called a field, what the field is inside the CRM. So first name is first name. 
Last name is last name. It's pretty self-explanatory, you see. Email. So categories does not exist. I'm going to go ahead and create a custom field. It's pretty cool. Phone. Phone. I know phone exists. All right. I'm going to call it a 616, the personal list 616. You know, as the marketing grows, you're going to be able, want to be able to look back and see like, oh, okay, yeah, that was from last year or something along those lines. Okay, we hit import. Now it's going to look at confirm. This is good. Import. Import lead data must what? Oh, we don't have a company. That's very interesting. Okay. Cancel. So this is something that I haven't run into before because usually when I'm talking about leads and lists, we are talking about companies, right? But in this case, we're talking about a service for consumers. So there isn't a, uh, a company. But... Sharp string wants to see it. Insert. Now put it, so I'm just putting NA for now. All right. Uh, they can go in and update information. This is important. Like some of these people might be vendors or something like that. I'm not sure. So I've made this change. I'm going to hit save. I'm going to do the process over again. So I have to hit cancel or go back. Let's try this again. All right. So I'm going to choose the file. I choose you. Upload CSV, new list, master, uh, I didn't listen, list, what was it, six, 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 sixteen, right? Yes, oh, six, sixteen, sixteen, that's what it was. No issue there. We're going to assign them as qualified leads because this is their master list of people they want to make sure to come in, right? Assign leads to a campaign. Select campaign, new campaign. I'm going to call it the same. I think I had used personal list last time, but it's good to keep consistent nomenclature. We're not going to assign anything. Company name, sorry, it's in here now. Okay, so we say first last company email make custom field category phone we hit import we look at it make sure that everything moves correctly yep mark butler na m butler at georgia's bdc.com SBDC. Oh, okay. Small Business Bureau folks. Confirm. Import. So, for, uh, so 35 entries contain no email addresses, but were still imported. Four failed to import. Below are the fields. That, okay. So what it means here is that these guys somehow the list wasn't formatted right let's go look at it i want to paint in the in the you know what but what they're saying here is they weren't formatted right so maybe there's an extra space or a period or something along those lines and now i gotta go hunt for so let's go look for steve oh yeah and i can see this guy has an extra space here. All right. uh, 
dough clove. Five dough clove. Okay. Control find dough clove. Okay. They have a little extra sign there. T stand. All right, what's wrong with T stand? Extra space on the end. Jason Maris. All right, so let's go for look for Maris. Find next. Oh, and there's a space in the front. All right. File save, and I'm going to do it again. Now you're saying, whoa, we're going to get duplicate imports. But remember, there's no duplicates. So um, we're going to say update. So import, or we'll look at what the choice is there. Choose a file. Master list, I choose you. Open. Oh, see, that's a little checkbox saying that it was done. Okay. Upload CS, uh, CV, CSV. CSV stands for comma separated value. It's going to be an existing list. All right. And I'm just saying update. New and existing field information. It's all fresh and new. Okay. Everyone's going to be a qualified lead. We are assigning leads to the campaign, of course, which is the master 616 lead list. All right. And then we're now worried about the particular users. We have to make the custom field has already been created. Ooh, I almost, I think it's all right. Yeah, here it is. So I don't have to recreate it. I could have, if I did that, I would have ended up with two fields, and that would have been a mess. All right, hit import. Confirm. Thirty-five entries to, uh, contain no email addresses, but we're still imported, so this is good. Some pictures here. Oh, I'm still recording here. Sorry, y'all. Okay, so, or I hope I'm recording. All right, so we were doing, this is how you upload a list. That's it. All right, thanks.